Hello again to another Wednesday of another episode of another GeoGuessr. On a previous episode, we had such an amazing start. And then the game was like, uh, that's all you're getting. So now, I am hoping to not have that issue as I don't know where the fuck we are again. How's your week going so far? I know it's the middle of the week. Not much you can do about it unless you're watching this at a different time than when I post it. Then uh, think back to the Wednesday you just had or are going to have and be like, yeah, I'm uh, glad I'm not there. Is this potentially Argentinian? I need to know. Because that's really what's going to... They're good friends. Bom dia is good day in Brazilian. So this is probably... Brazil? I need to see this truck. This truck isn't going to tell me anything. I don't know why I'm thinking it will. But let's... Yeah, this tells me that. I'm going to say this is Brazil just because it said that. That's, thank you, Adelson, for letting me know, wherever you are now. I hope you're still cooking chicken hearts and kitchen sinks. Fooling everybody that you don't actually speak, understand any English that you totally do. I respect the hustle. Hardest working man I've ever met. <clears throat> Excuse me, ugh. Still fighting off this. Obnoxious cold. All right, here we go. MS-156. It's not just a gang in El Salvador anymore. MS, I think, is Mato Grosso de Sul, right? Right. MS, here we are. All right, I'm going to click here just so I, I do not forget where we are. But as I mentioned in the previous episode, I don't know when I was actually going to record the next one, and I'm doing it the next day. Um, one of the other... Uh, effects of this cold that I have is I'm just waking up at very early times of day and it's just like I'm totally fine with it like I don't know because I've heard people who only need like what is it four or five hours of sleep a night and then they're totally fine like their body has been their body is like adjusted or that's all they need to do whatever they need to do for the day and I've noticed that no, I'm not, I'm not tired at all, which is kind of cool, but I'm also a little worried that I kind of like sleeping sometimes. It's fun to do, as fun as sleeping can be, but this, this, ever since like, uh, what, last week? I'm not going to find this, am I? How far? Uh, go over here. At least I got the province, I believe, right? So that's all that matters right now. Unless 195, I can I can get it in the short amount of time. But yeah, I, I kind of want to sleep in every now and then. It's just not letting me. 166. Come on, I got 10 seconds. 156, aha, here we go. I'm just going to click there. And hope that that's the right one. And two, I'm going to make the guess. That was real close. Five stars, Brazil. And today wasn't any... I almost thought I knew exactly where this was. This looks almost like a place I grew up, but it's not. So I'm not going to say I finally found a place I can recognize. Which would blow my mind. But I got super early... This morning I woke up, and I was like, alright, what am I going to do? So I, uh, turned on Twitch, and Twitch is getting a bit more, uh, broad? Oh, here we go, just, it's the US, I don't know what it is yet, though. And what they show, and, I mean, they've been doing it for a while now, this isn't anything new. They've been doing, like, uh, old TV shows now is kind of a new thing they're doing, like they're doing some Knight Rider knockoff with a motorcycle. 
that just came on. But what I'm what I was watching this morning was uh, Red Bull has their own TV, and one of the things I can usually fall down a uh, YouTube hole with is like the uh, I don't know what they call it, not extreme sports. That just sounds dumb. Alternative sports sounds dumb too, but it's just a different type of sports you don't think you've ever seen or heard before. And today I was watching. I see if I can remember. It, it it was it's like a Red Bull endurance motocross race that they had. I'm I'm assuming in Germany. I don't think I'm gonna find it. I need to find a flag. Come on, one of you people have to have a flag somewhere. Well, I gotta pick a place in the U.S. So I don't. I'm gonna just say here for now. And yeah, this this insane two hour endurance, like not motocross because it's basically uh, this guy's like, you know what? What would be cool for a sport is if uh, you spend two hours going over whatever I want you to. We're gonna call it a track, but that's like a mile of just the giant biggest boulders. Yeah, you're gonna go right over it, and then you're gonna come back and do it again. It's insane, like uh, what they were doing. And there's a whole Whoa, I didn't want to go backwards. There's a whole uh, series. I forget what the hell it's called, but it was just impressive to watch. I might actually get some information here. Or not. Let's see. Um, Baptist Church. Baptist is usually southeast. So I've got, I've got, wait, what's that say? When in deep water, be sure to keep your mouth shut. That's not the best advice to give. I mean, it's a good turn of phrase, but come on. Oh, we're not sure if we're sending, selling that one yet. Nine three ones. I don't know that. Nice, uh, John or Pam. Uh, ooh, this sign might help. But anyway, I'm watching this thing today. It was a good two hours. I was 100% captive. I'd never heard of this thing before. I was just impressed by it, and I tend to get into a one of the things that I enjoy watching on YouTube, whatever I like happen across videos, like, I'm just going to watch this for another, like, hour or two and just be like, I can never do this. This is insanely impressive what they're doing, and I'm just going to keep watching this stuff, like uh, John Block or the Hoonigan, whatever the hell that stuff is called, where the guy just does, like, uh, burnouts over... Early morning closed streets in big cities. It's just cool to watch. Um, or Red Bull decides to just keep making these sports up where it's basically like a downhill ice skating challenge that usually happens in European cities in the middle of winter. Okay, I just happened to get the state right. I That was lucky. I'm going to give myself five stars. Um, they have ferrets here. Ferretaria, huh? Funny. Let's see if I can't make any of this out. Super Mercado. Well, we might be in San Andreas, or we're along the San Andreas Fault. I don't know. I'm gonna keep going in a direction in Escolares. Is that, like, Spanish for taxi? What's up, doggy? A lot of dogs. Got a little pack going here. Kind of like mutts always have, like, the same outline to them with a curly tail like that. I wonder if at some point they're actually going to be like, yeah, mutts, enough of a thing that will make it into a breed. That'd be funny. But it's just, it was just fun watching that thing. These people spending the the endurance you would need to do this stuff. Uh, let's see if I can remember what it's. It was called like the hair scramble. It was some. I heard the British people saying it thousand times. I just didn't bother remembering it. I don't know where this is yet. Um, actually, I'm gonna go back and see this sign if it can't help me. Uh, no. no, that does not help me. I want to say this could be Mexico, but that would have a flag on it, but it doesn't. Cristo. Where is this Brazil again? 
I don't know. Are you Pele? Who are you? I don't know anything. Well, if I can see this banner and it says Claro, this may help me. It's a festival of Christiana. Hold on, I had a cough. I'm going to fight this. I'm going to mute real quick. Oh, sorry. Still getting over the cold. Okay, maybe... Chile? I think this is Chile. Alright. Would not have guessed that. Oh, right there. It's right there. Problem is, this is a... Very long country. I don't know if I'm going to find it, but... Everyone's got one of their things they always end up falling down in like a YouTube hole or a Wikipedia hole, and mine just happens to be either like skateboard videos, that shit's cool to watch. I don't like watching the wipeouts, like legitimate wipeouts where there's obvious bone breakage and it's, it looks real painful because I know that's part of it and then I never got to that point with skateboarding because I have this issue where I have the worst reflex when it comes to going too fast down a hill. Like, um, we were doing cross-country skiing in grade school, and I have zero aptitude for it. And we were going down a very small hill. It was, it was not big at all. And my re... Wait, is this car... Why are you going... Oh, I'm going backwards this this whole time. I'm an idiot. Um, I was just to be like, all right, just stay crunched in a ball in that thicket of pricker bushes will uh st stop your momentum you crash but you'll stop and i totally did that and um i don't even think i can stand on a skateboard i was never able to do it but i watching people do that stuff man i don't know if it has to do with playing all that tony hawk as a kid uh one second how close was i did i get the country right well, i got the country right it was a little farther up north i'll do four stars that time Okay, this. Hmm. These are throwing me. They're like birds and little. They're minarets? I don't remember, but. I always impressed. I'll watch that stuff all the time. Shit's cool. I know I can never do it, but I can just admire what they do and be like, yeah, okay. Alright, this Riviera Marico. None of this stuff makes sense to me because I don't recognize any of those words. These are terracotta roofs. It makes me feel like this is potentially Spain. Or Mediterranean, at least. And he has the circumflex under the sea. I know that's a French circumflex, but I don't know if Spain has that. I think they... Yeah, Spain totally does because... I know that one of those soccer teams was a Real Barcelona or Barcelona Real... This is a very bright lawn for a time. I'm going to hit home and try the other way. If, whoa, camera, come on. You're on fire over there. Get me over here. Okay. So it says stop. I can get on the road here. I do not know. This is... <clears throat> Excuse me. Throwing me for a loop. Still have two minutes left. Um. Hmm. Like. I doubt anybody's living there. Yes, my voice is still real weird from the cold. Feeling better than I did yesterday when I recorded yesterday's. Or uh, Monday's video. Although now, I'm purposely trying to keep my voice low. And I don't know if this sounds really weird or not. Can I go forward, please? Thank you. Nothing. There's no signs anywhere that are helping me here. Maybe this? Nope. It says, ah. Well, before I forget, I'm just going to go ahead and click Espana. And then Rua... Ecolas, that's a school. 
Um, anything over here? Bebe? No, that doesn't help me. I'm really hoping I can see a word I recognize. Is this Italy? I don't know. Hopefully one of you... Porto d'Abrigo. That's Psycho Closet. Um, and it's, uh, see, it, it feels like it's, it's, I'm overthinking this probably, so. PT, Portugal. Okay, I'm going to click you then. Thank you, URL. I don't know if I'm going to get close, but I just know that Portugal is a small country. I'm just hedging my bet by putting it in the middle. I think it's the first time I'll actually be able to get a uh, Portuguinian location. I'm playing this game every other time. I've it's either I think it's been on the border, and I've picked Spain. I still Chico Panza. Whatever. We've got uh, three, two, one. Did I get it right? Well, I got the country right. We'll do five stars because I'm feeling generous this morning. All right, this feels like Europe. Maybe this is where they had that uh, event that I was just watching. No, that coat of arms makes me feel like uh, that's. It feels. I think that's like Bavaria, and from playing Europa Universalis, Bavaria is kind of where. Uh, the Czech Republic is now. So I think I might have got the country right. I kind of hope that I get to keep this cold voice because this, this seems more interesting of a voice, at least to me, because I'm, I've, I've had to live with my voice for so long. I'd like to switch it up a little bit. I'm sure this is annoying to anybody. All right, I'm gonna hit home, go the other way, because this kind of feels like it's going nowhere, so we're gonna head this way. Nice, uh, overalls. They're gonna make a comeback, even with the one strap off. You heard it here first. Everything old will be new again. They'll have those slap-on bracelets. They'll play Pogs for the third time. Maybe this little tiny church will tell me something. Well, let's... Not orthodoxy, so that's, uh, I think I've still got the country right. If I don't, it's, it's either here or here, one of these two. So I'm going to split the difference and kind of, because I don't know if I can tell the difference between Czech and S Slovak. Um, coat of arms, even if that's a thing, I, I just might be pulling this out of my ass, but. Honestly, I've been doing that for five, four rounds now, and my score hasn't been too bad. We're going to Kuki. That's the Google car. Apparently, recently, Apple Maps, whatever they're calling their map thing, just actually went through my little town I'm living in now. If I had any uh, wherewithal, I would have put on a zany outfit so I could be the zany guy and the city that I'm in. Town city, whatever you want to call it. It's practically a town. But where I am, it's a big enough city. I guess you're a store? Or you just really like Coke? Got a minute left. All I found is really nothing. Maybe this sign will help. Um, so we're in Croatia instead. That's I believe that's the Croa Croatian flag. It's not the Bosnian, and I do not believe it's Serbia. Now I'm second guessing that. Hmm. This flag, is it Serbia? That, was I right first initially? I'm going to move just to here, just in case it happens to be Serbia, but I really... Mm, 
the more I think about it, the more that actually might be a Serbian. Hmm. But we would be in a border, so why would they put why would they put the flag of all this stuff if No wait, that's a that's a Slovakian flag. I'm an idiot. Can I get Hertz Batska? I was wrong again. I double triple thought it over what it should have been, and it was actually on the border. Like I said, it was it was a border town. Google, stop. I didn't want that. Thank you. All right. I'll give it for not being someplace I haven't been before, but this is probably around the score we should have had on when, uh, Monday, but I uh, bungled it pretty hard. But that's going to do it for a uh, Wednesday episode of GeoGuessr. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you did, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check out the other stuff we have going on the channel this week. More GeoGuessr. I've got a pretty good idea what's going up on Tuesday and Thursday. I have not recorded it yet, but you're going to know before I do. Or before this video comes out. Whatever. Anyway, if, if not, uh, we'll see you again Friday. Broken sentences for GeoGuessr time. Thank you all for watching. We will see you then. Goodbye.